Toronto-born classical crossover soprano, recording artist known for her rich tone and bell-like clarity, Alessandra Pawanessa, next on the Chris Top program. Okay, listen carefully. It's WABA, not WOBA. It stands for Working On Being Awesome. Will I ever be awesome? Probably not. But it gives me something to do. The Chris Top Program. Only on iHeartRadio and Spreaker.com. <laughs> you can either talk in the Chris Top Program. My name is Dorkimus Prime. Leader of the Dorkobots, I was sent to this tiny planet in hopes of uniting all Dorks against the evil Decepta Douche. Dorkobots, roll out! Portions of the day's programming are reproduced by means of electrical transcriptions or tape recordings. <laughs> you can hear the tech in the crystal program. I am the one and only crystal. <laughs> The Chris Top Program. And I'm the one and only Chris Top, broadcasting live from our lavish studio apartment here in sunny Clarksville, Tennessee, with an ocean view. How in the hell are you, world? Sup? You know, we're going to have to change that because it's not going to be apartment anymore uh, in, our lavish in a few studio days. studio home. Broadcasting live from our lavish home studio. Okay, I just got a freaking freak out for a second i'm so excited that we're gonna be having a home together yep yep pretty nice dude i'm so excited i can't wait to decorate the thing Are you more excited about the uh <laughs> the studio or the washer and dryer you know what <laughs> <laughs> the washer and dryer <laughs> i'm not kidding you and and i'm just so freaking excited to decorate the whole place yeah it's like it's like weird, but I'm gonna like be a stereotypical woman for a while. For a little while. For a little bit, because yeah. I want to freaking decorate so bad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm just I'm really excited about the studio. I just can't get past that. I could like just have the studio and be okay. Do you know what else? I could live out of the studio. Mm. I could live out of the studio and be fine. Do you know what else? What? You're, this is gonna sound so weird. This is gonna sound so weird. Okay. But I'm like excited to clean the new house too. Wow, that makes me excited that you're excited. Because <laughs> I'm not nearly excited about that. <laughs> That's good. I don't know why. It's That's like, gonna work out. Because it's gonna be like our home. It's gonna be ours. Yeah. It's gonna be great. That's I'm, definitely gonna work I'm out. Excited to. Yep. Do that. Yep. We we need to get a bigger Christmas tree. Yeah. Probably not this year. Probably not this year. But uh, we'll get one on sale after Christmas. You know what happened though? Okay, <laughs> my mom, <laughs> she she somehow got a really nice Christmas tree for free. Wow! And everybody was like really jealous of her. Well, what, what does it do? Like it was a really nice tree. It was just really fluffy. It doesn't mm -hmm. do anything. I mean, does it spin? <laughs> no. Some trees spin. spin. When I when somebody says oh. I got a really nice tree, I think that it spins and maybe plays no, like Christmas carols. No, a, a really nice tree is one that has fluffy branches and doesn't sag and stuff like that. Ours doesn't sag. Yeah, and that's a, that's a nice tree. But mm -hmm. before we didn't have such a nice tree. I mean, like my mom and yeah. stuff, we had like pretty much just like it was bad. Our tree's like, what, three feet tall, though? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's we little. Need to, we need to get us like a six-footer, probably. Whoa. So I think an eight-foot's like too much. That's a, that but is maybe. a little too much. You'd have to have a ladder. 
Yeah, I don't want to do that. We might have to have a ladder with a six foot. Cause, well, no, no, well, because I, I can reach I, the top of that. But, but I like putting the star on. <laughs> I could hoist you. Can you lift me? I could hoist you. I could, like, okay, step here, and I could, like, lift you up just long enough for you to put the, put the star, star and then get off. on the top. And then get off. <laughs> get off. Get off now. My back. Oh, my back. My back. <laughs> That's what it would be like. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it would be like. Oh, I love us. <laughs> so I'm, I'm excited that we're going to uh, revisit with uh, Alessandra because... Um, we, we had her on the show, I don't remember when, but it's been several months. Maybe more than a year, possibly. I don't know. Um, but I love her music, and I can't wait to find out what she's been up to, um, Any maybe any new music that's coming out, stuff like that. Her and music is enchanting. It really is. And I find myself going back to listen to this show. I'm not going to say more than any other shows, but a lot, just because of the music. And, and it's, it's different than what we normally do, and it's just nice, I think, to unwind to and maybe escape a little bit with this as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and I never really saw myself sitting down to listen to this stuff until we discovered I do. Alessandra. <laughs> I do. Um, now, but, I mean, I, I like classical music, some of the you know stereotypical stuff that you know people talk about, like Beethoven and stuff like that. But um, this is just, it's nice for me to have something a little different. And, and her Rod voice. your horizons. Yeah, her voice is just the clarity um, in her voice alone. You know, it just makes you want to just stop what you're doing and listen to her. Boom. Uh, but Alessandra Palanessa next on the Chris Top program. TCTP Passion Awards, September 2015. Passion is an intense emotion, a compelling enthusiasm, or desire for something. Not one single artist on this page needs an explanation of the word passion. All of these individuals live it each and every day. Life as they know it revolves around the passions that keep them moving forward and striving to be the best they can at what they love. Passion is contagious, so let's do our part and show these talented people we love what they do and want them to always follow those dreams. TCTP Passion Award will be given to five artists who want it the most. Everyone taking part in the Chris Top Program event at the Clarksville Customs House Museum September 10th, 11th, and 12th may deserve the award, but only five will go home with it. The artists are depending on your votes to prove to the world that they can wobble like no one else. Go to thechristopprogram.com, click on the Events tab, and vote for as many artists as you want once a day. Please vote often, and remember this is all about spreading awareness of the event. No one has to participate, but who doesn't love a friendly competition from time to time? Good luck. Everyone is invited to attend the live interviews all three days and bring lots of friends. The final day will be full of entertainment, prize drawings, red carpet pictures, thanks to Magnolia Emporium, with your favorite artist, and of course, TCTP Passion Awards. If you cannot attend the interviews in person, please listen on the Chris Top program. Work on being awesome worldwide with us and our friends at Clarksville Customs House Museum and Magnolia Emporium. You are absolutely, positively, 100% for sure in the right place. You this sure. is the Chris Top Program. I like forgot that you had more to say, so I just started yeah, talking. Yeah, it's okay. Um, <laughs> have you been outside today at all? Uh, no. No, we kind of got up and started prepping and doing stuff. There's so much to do. Um, doing stuff. When we have to move, I mean, it's like just so much packing. Crazy. I, I mean, feel. I'm, I feel uh, like that we're not done yet, and we don't. No. Yeah, we're not done. It's just always something to do and get ready, and it's just, and then you're gonna forget things. Um, I'm not looking forward to the actual moving part, but I am looking forward to being moved, getting settled <laughs> in and getting set up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's going to be kind of hectic because we got two days we're going to move, and then uh, I've got to work a few days, and then after that we have Riverfest that, that we're going to be at for three days, but then I'm taking a few extra days off after that, so we'll have a chance to get settled in, mm-hmm. which will be really nice. Very nice. Yeah, so I do a little decorating, just kind of chill. Chill. Drink some chai. Chai, yes, yes. Good <laughs> That's our good. word of the day, I think. Chai. Uh, but anyway, I couldn't get in touch with Alessandra. Uh oh. So Is what she fighting do, wizards again? She might be. I know that was something that she was into there for a while last time we talked to her. Was the whole wizard, wizard fighting, fighting thing? thing. Yeah. Jinx. So hopefully, uh, we'll be able to get her on uh, the show. But we're gonna go ahead and play uh, some of her music. And 
the thing is, I don't really know how to pronounce some of this stuff, so I wish she was on here so she could do that. Can I give it a go? Yeah, sure. Uh, let's see. Uh, Dolce. I think that's Dolce Vento. Dolce Vento. Yeah, I think that's how you I say that. I said that right the first yeah. time. No help. Uh, no, the <laughs> second one I, I'm going to have real problems with, right, but let's... but we'll play uh, Dolce Vento first, and then hopefully we'll get Alessandra on the show. But you're absolutely mm-hmm. going to love uh, just her voice, just alone. I mean, there could be no music. I think she could just, like, hum a few bars, and you would just be enchanted. You will be wonderstruck. Exactly. I'm, I'm presently calling Alessandra because I think she changed her Skype on us. Uh oh. She see, it's probably because of all that that uh, skyping that I, I tried to Skype her just in, incessantly after the first. Yeah, probably. You're yeah. a stalker. Chris. Like three or four times a day, I would I would try to get in touch. Hey, Alessandra, hey. how are you? Oh, hold on. <laughs> hear me? We're we. I can hear you just fine. Can you hear yeah, us? Yes, I can. Sweet. I was just telling Allie, she probably changed her Skype number because, you know, I kept trying to Skype you like every day after yeah. the interview. And, you know, you just kind of got like, okay, I've had enough. So. No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I forgot my login for that Skype. So, yeah, yeah I had to get a new one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. So it yeah, wasn't me then. No, not at all. I okay. apologize. Not this time. <laughs> It wasn't you this time. Just be careful, Chris. Now we we uh we couldn't get you, so we have already played uh, Dolce Vento. Did I say that right? Yes, you did. Okay, so I I I'm getting better. Um, <laughs> I'm I'm getting better. I'm learning, and and I was saying some really cool stuff about you before we got you on, and I want you to know. Um, we go back, and um, that's probably in our top ten interviews, and we've done several hundred interviews. Mm-hmm. Um, that we love just to go back and listen to you. Um, just. And I was telling people, you could just hum a couple of bars and and just totally be enchanted with your voice. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and yeah. I'm gonna compliment. I love this music. I'm gonna compliment her too on Go something for it. something else. Um, and I'm not being a typical guy, but I've got to say, uh, in the new pictures that you have uh, that we've been posting, uh, you look absolutely gorgeous. 
Oh, thank you. Yes. Yeah, I have a great photographer, Julian Melly uh, from JM Pro Creative. I have to give a special shout out to him. He is a fabulous photographer. And uh, yeah, he definitely did a great job on my my new shoot, my new look. So special thanks to him. <laughs> I love that red dress. An amazing job. Thank I mean, you. I actually made part of that dress. Are you serious? So, yeah, I don't sew. I don't. Uh, the the top half is, I think, a, a Ralph Lauren. But then the bottom half was uh, an inspiration from Pinterest. And I went to a fabric land and just grabbed reams of tulle and just stitched the bottom half together because I just yeah wanted to recreate this dress because I absolutely fell in love with this image off Pinterest. So that's how that red dress came to be. It's half of my creation. I love it. Is there anything you can't do? I mean, like, you know, you've got this voice, then you math. can sew. <laughs> math, I cannot do. I can't do <laughs> math either. If I do classical music, I would be able to do math. And I am sorry, friends, but that is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work that way at all. No. So, okay, so it's been probably, it's been months since we've talked. Uh, maybe a, over a year-ish, I think. Uh, so what's been happening? Have you been in the studio? Or are you, are you um, uh, recording new, new music? What's going on? Not yet. Um, I would love to do a Christmas album. It was on my to-do list, but uh, just didn't end up happening. Um, I am doing a show, though. I'm actually flying out on Wednesday. I am going to Manchester. So my next show mm. is in uh, Northern Wales. So that's been happening. Lots of uh, oh. performance opportunities. And I'm hopefully, hoping to do uh, more traveling uh, internationally. Mm-hmm. Now, is this your first international opportunity, or have you had more? It's my first uh, solo opportunity, um, I guess, in the classical crossover genre. A couple years ago, I was uh, in an opera, and there I did uh, an opera in Amsterdam. So that was kind of my first uh, international experience but uh, in opera. So this is kind of my first overseas performance um, as a crossover artist. So I'm very excited. Oh, that's cool. Are you are you a little nervous? I'm very nervous. <laughs> I've never. Yeah, I, there's lots of people that I'm going to be meeting for the first time. Uh, I have a lot of fans over in the UK, so I'm very excited mm -hmm. to meet them, and uh, so excited to work. Um, this performance is with Scarlett Quigley, a uh, young soprano. She's only 17, and she has an incredible voice, and uh, as well as uh, Charlie Botting. Hope I'm saying the last name correctly, <laughs> but uh -huh. uh, so I'm very excited to be singing with them. And uh, the event is called Oceans Unite. And it's in support of the RNLI, um, and that is the Royal National Lifeboat uh, Institution. So, yeah, I'm doing it for a good cause, and I'm very excited. Oh, that's what a great opportunity that is. Yeah. How long will you get to spend there? Will you have time to do any sightseeing or just hang out? Uh, I'll be doing a couple of days of touring after, so... Um, I've heard lots of, you know, stories that Wales is just absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to visit some castles. Um, castles? And, yeah, oh, I'm my only goodness. For, yeah, I'm only there for six days, so I'll mm -hmm. have to come back, and uh, I'll be doing um, some collaborations uh, with some artists here afterwards. So hopefully that means some new music for everybody else to hear. Oh, I'm excited about that. I'm kind of bummed I'm about the Christmas about, album. Yeah. Yeah, um, I know. I wish I could have, but... Uh, Unfortunately, yeah, the first album did take uh, take a lot of sure, planning. So. Sure, <laughs> It would be cool to spend Christmas with Alessandra and just it have would. her playing while we open presents and eat Christmas lunch and stuff. Yeah, and cookies. Christmas yeah, cookies. cookies. Yeah. <laughs> you could almost decorate the dress like a Christmas tree. You could, kind of. <laughs> It's big enough. He probably could hang some ornaments off you should, of it. <laughs> you should think about that uh, for Christmas. There that would be go. really cool. Now, they don't have any castles in Toronto, do they? Just Castle Loma. Yeah, so so you kind of have a castle then. We kind of have a castle. It's a, it's a yeah. fake castle. Right. Um, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it was started by, I guess, a really rich man who wanted to build this, um, this house for his wife. And so he started building this huge castle. It's downtown Toronto. And I guess halfway through, he realized that he didn't budget it correctly, and mm -hmm. he had to stop building it and actually sell it. So it's uh, this half-finished castle that I guess now belongs to uh, the city of Toronto, and they've opened it up, and it's kind of half a museum, but it's a beautiful facility, and mm -hmm. yeah, it's Toronto's little castle. 
Well, that's kind of cool. That is cool. Yeah. I was about to say, I'm really excited about these castles. <laughs> yeah, you need castles to, are so cool. You need to tweet us a bunch of selfies like in front of the castles and stuff. Oh, I will. Yeah, don't forget, because it'll make us feel important. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I will hashtag you guys in there, too. Sweet. We'll retweet them. Yes. Because, you know, we're, we're Twitter buddies for life, right? Oh, of course. Yay. Yeah. So I like to make sure. Make sure. Just yeah. make sure. Just get that confirmed. You know, if oh, I... Yeah. I thought I was part of the family now. <laughs> well, you are, and that's why we want we want plenty of pictures. Yes. Like, and maybe some selfies, like, uh, after your performance, like, you know, like, maybe on the side of the stage as you're walking off or something. Yeah. You know, some cool behind I'll the try. scenes. Okay. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Shot yeah, yeah. Me. Now, if if I had a wish, this is what I would wish for. Three okay. wishes. I'd wish. Are for you ready? Three wishes. Okay. All right. Now, every year we do an event at uh, BB Kings in Nashville for the for the CMA Fest, um, and it's getting bigger every year we do it. Um, and we 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 tend to interview a lot of country music singers uh, because it is Nashville, and that's just sort of where they hang out. Um, it would it would be so cool uh, if you could find a couple of venues to play maybe around that time in Nashville and then just kind of show up at the award show uh, that we do. I would love to. So why don't you like think about that and and kind of work on that a little bit because I'm I'm sure there are plenty of venues in Nashville. It is Music City, um, mm -hmm. you know, for you to play and probably pay for your trip. I would think. Um, and we would love to have you on the show uh, during that time. Just uh, you know, do some live interviews with you, and then the third night when we have the award ceremony and everybody gets together and networks and stuff like that, it would just be so much fun. Um, oh, I would love to. Any excuse to travel, I am there. Yeah, that's, so uh, <laughs> that's my thing. I love to travel. And we want to meet you because I mean, you are part of the family now, and it'd just be kind of cool to to hang out. Yeah. And it would give us more cool points we as well. We could chill. Yeah. <laughs> Chilling with Alessandra. Yeah, we could try to sing with her. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see that happening. I don't see you can sing better than me, but that's not saying much. Yeah, it really isn't. Yeah, and then like you know, compared to Alessandra, it'd just be it'd be tough. Yeah. It'd be a it'd be a rough road. It would be. Yeah, it really would. It really would. Now, are you? Because uh, I think last time we talked, you um, weren't really into into the whole writing aspect of it all. Has that changed any? Um, a little bit. Uh, actually, the collaborations that I'm working on currently does involve a little bit of writing. Mm -hmm. um, it's very different than uh, my first album. Um, I'm actually collaborating with a couple of DJs, so it's going to be uh, very different from uh, the orchestra background oh. that my album has originally. So That's I am exciting. Doing, yeah, a lot of things uh, differently and a lot of different... Um, yeah, just really taking advantage of the whole crossover essence, uh, you know, in this music. So mm -hmm. I'm crossing over with a little bit of a digital sound. So yeah. I can't wait to check it all. Do you have any uh, any rough drafts that you could send me sort of under the table? Um, I might be able to send you something, just not right now. Because <laughs> I'm so curious. Uh, and I, and I want to hear it because I, I love what you've done in the past, but uh, I'm always, you know, looking for new stuff, too. And I... I I kind of have an idea in my head what you're doing, but I, I just I want to know uh, for sure. So and I promise I won't play it or leak anything. <laughs> yeah, well, don't be a just leaker. to give you, I guess, like a little bit of a snippet. If you know what the diva dance is the from the Fifth Element, diva that's dance. what we're kind um, of creating. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to Google that. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not really. <laughs> I'm gonna Google it right now. <laughs> alien that does uh, an operatic aria. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it kind of goes all crazy, but uh, yeah, you'll have to take a look at it. And it's definitely awesome. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm the totally picture excited. that popped up is kind of cool looking. That's yeah, the diva dance. With okay, that. well, we'll have to check it out after after the show because I'm she's got me curious as hell because um, <laughs> I want to know what's going on. But now think about think about next June though, and and you know call around to some places, you know get your people to uh, maybe try to line up because that would be so much fun and it. And even though Nashville is known for country music, there are so many artists there and so many opportunities and so many ways to network. Um, I think it would be a, a really good trip for you. Um, plus, you know, and I'm really thinking of us, of myself, because, I, you know, <laughs> we just want to get you on the show live and, and it, it'd be fun. 
Yeah. Well, I'd love to be on the show live, so I'll definitely be uh, considering it. Well, I guess in person because you're live right now. But I, I yeah. guess I mean in person. Yeah. Plus, I guess in person. <laughs> yeah. Plus, if you're at BB Kings, they've got this mac and cheese that'll blow your mind. I can't wait for that. <gasps> Ooh, you said the magic word. Oh, it's like it. I called it crack and cheese whenever we go there to get it. <laughs> yeah. Because it's it's so good. Uh, okay. Anyway. I'm coming just for the food. <laughs> just for the mac and cheese. <laughs> She's go. gonna be there. <laughs> But no, keep me posted on that, and then uh, it's so excited because you're going to – when did you say you're going to Wales? I'm actually leaving on Wednesday, this Wednesday. This Wednesday. Wow, that's it's, right around the corner. It is very around the corner. Oh, I'm nervous for you. Are you ready? I am ready, and I'm – yeah, I'm very excited. I am nervous, but I'm ready. <laughs> and how many performances are you doing there? It's just the one. It's okay. uh, going to be August 23rd, and it's called Oceans Unite. Okay, and then do you have like this just beautiful dress that you're gonna wear? I am. It's uh, it's gonna be gray and sparkly, lots of sequins. Ooh. So oh, we gotta yeah. see lots Definitely of lots of Twitter decked pictures. Decked all out in uh, in sparkles this time. Okay, because we want to feel like we're there. So you gotta get lots of pictures. Mm -hmm. That's important. Yeah, we'll get lots of pictures. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Now I've got to ask you a personal question. Uh oh. Okay, you ready? I think so. Okay, you don't have to answer. You can be like Chris. Just shut up. Because <laughs> we're we're that close now. Okay. 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 So, how's the love life going? Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Drop the bomb. <laughs> Ooh. Like a bow. <laughs> well, people want to know this stuff because, I mean, you know. They do. They're because they're nosy. Yeah. I am very um, committed to my music, so. Oh. Yes. Yeah, so I am single. I am very uh, not interested in looking. Um, yeah, I, I plan to dedicate my life to music mm -hmm. and don't want any distractions. You are single so. and not ready. <laughs> now, do you ever <laughs> see yourself settling down or, or at, right now at this point in time? At this point, no. I feel like I have so much to do in my career still. So, again, I don't want any kind of distractions. Mm -hmm. I definitely don't want, um, not even thinking of getting married or having kids. So, right. definitely just you know, pursue music and see how far it can go. Well, yeah, you know what you want, and, you know, you're willing to pay the price to get it. I mean, and you're you're perfectly happy doing what you're doing, so, I mean, I think that's cool that you're that you're staying focused like that. Uh, are you having to turn guys down, though? Are they like, hey, Alessandra, you want to go out? You're like, no. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I still have, you know, really good friends that I hang out with. But right. But in terms of, you know, being serious and having a relationship, I'm mm -hmm. kind of... Very straightforward. No, you know, I, I definitely want to be single. So friends, but, you know, nothing further. Right. So, you know, every guy that's listening to this feels like he has a chance now. So be careful. <laughs> no, they have no chance. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> would you, okay, if, if you were going to date somebody, like, what would be the perfect guy for you? Like, if, if you were at that point in your life where you were ready to, to, I guess, maybe not settle down, but just have a relationship. Um, I know this sounds so cliche, but I'm really not into appearances. They ha just have to have a great personality. Right, and, so he could be yeah. a really large guy with that's balding with sweaty armpits, and you'd be all about him. Uh, sweaty armpits? Uh, maybe not the sweaty armpits. <laughs> you have to do something about that. <laughs> but, right. Get you know, some deodorant, man. <laughs> Is more than love, so yeah, I'm not. Uh, sweaty armpits. Uh, I don't Dude, know. why? Don't why know. would you say sweaty armpits? I don't know. It just That's popped so in my head. Gross. It just popped in my head. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so okay, this next song we're going to play, uh, I, I, I can't remember how to say it, and I, I don't have any. You want to try it? Uh, Paraplu? I can't Para, read. Hey, I don't know. Either. Oh, Parla Piu Piano. Yeah, I'm not even going to try wait, that. Wait, what? I can't roll my tongue like that. I can't do it. This is the theme from The Godfather. It's right. Parla Piu Piano. Oh, that's cool. I should have just said that, the theme from The Godfather, because I remember that. I have never seen The Godfather. Yeah. Yeah, we actually, probably need to. We need to fix that. Yeah. yeah. Such we a could, bad Italian. I've actually never seen The Godfather. We could all just sit around. that's the secret that everybody knows. <laughs> so that's what we can do. If you come to Nashville, we'll, we'll have a Godfather night afterwards. We'll have yeah. to sit down and watch The Godfather together. Yeah. There yeah. we go. We'll eat uh, crack and cheese and watch The Godfather. Boom, night oh, made. Fun. Night <laughs> made. I'm such a foodie. I don't know if you can tell, but I absolutely love food. <laughs> do you uh, do you cook? A little bit. I try to hide that or else people will make me cook more. Oh, <laughs> so, so we shouldn't talk I about that. that I don't cook, but, well, but I well, if if you could only if, if what's the one thing like your specialty that you're really, really good at? I know it sounds so simple, but I really love making grilled cheese and Reuben sandwiches. Ooh. That actually sounds really good because I'm kind of hungry. I make a 
eating Reuben sandwich. <laughs> you got to grill both sides in butter. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, now the Reuben's that has like the um the oh, sour yeah the sauerkraut and, in it and yeah, stuff. Yeah, the smoked ham. Yeah, it's really, oh. or the smoked beef. It's really good. That sounds amazing right now. I would love to have that. That yeah. sounds good, but I'm really more in a pasta mood. In a pasta kind of mood? Yeah. We could have like a side of pasta with a Reuben. Maybe. That maybe. Who maybe. knows? We'll talk. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, yeah. all right. I'm going to let you introduce yeah. this song, Alessandra, and then we'll just we'll play nobody it. nobody else here can right. pronounce it. There we go. <laughs> Introducing Parla Piano. I feel like an old school gangster now. When I listen, you know to what? What? 
<laughs> so um, when I listen to songs, there's a story that plays out in my head every time. And this was like a totally different story than what it's supposed to be, but this was the story I pictured. Okay, so a long time ago, there was a kingdom, and it was under oppression by this crazy ruler. Yeah. And everybody in the whole kingdom wore black or gray because they were sad. And the scene was like all stormy looking, but it wasn't raining. And this lady was singing about how she was going to do whatever it took to like overthrow this person. And she like wasn't afraid to make sacrifices or use people in order to get somebody else in power. Yeah. <laughs> that well, was the story that like played out in my head. I don't know why. That's crazy, huh? <laughs> yeah. <It's> epic. <laughs> uh, well, we've got uh, some interesting things going on in the chat here. We've got uh, Radio Bastard in the chat. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Um, nice name. He's wanting you to to submit your uh, your application to a site. Um, Is this site legitimate? <laughs> I don't know, but it's it's worth looking into. Um, but he wanted your info, your website info, and I gave it to him. But it's um, let me see if I can scroll back up and check out. It's okmozart.com. Uh, it's booking info. It's a website. Okmozart Mozart com. So it might be something you want to you might want to check out. But he had a question. He wants to know. He said that the the song moved him to tears. Cool. And uh, he says that's Perlman the violin. Uh, he wants me to ask that. This background track was actually given to me by an incredible uh, arranger called Teddy Nasser. So it came all the way from, um, I think it was Palestine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so uh, I'm actually not sure who the live violinist is. Um, it does say in the credits, but off the top of my head, I do not remember. Okay, he seems like he knows what he's talking about, and he, he's uh, totally loving your music. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, she's actually from Toronto. He asked if you were from the States or not, but the, that's an event that he's talking about on that website, uh, okmozart.com. So it's, it might be something you want to check out yeah, um, maybe. afterwards. Yeah, I'll definitely check it out. Sounds very interesting. Could be right up your alley. It will. Yeah, never know. Never know. Uh, we've got another uh, question over on the ChrisTopProgram.com. Alessandra, any tips on how to sing classical music? Because I'm practicing singing, but my classical voice is not so good. And that's from Ruza. And Ruza, it's so good to see you. Um, how to include... Uh, hmm, let me think. Um, well, just making sure that, you know, you're uh, connected. Um you know, you want to have a, a high palate when you're singing opera and making sure that you're not pushing from your throat, but, you know, using uh, your full body. Uh, you know, singing opera just isn't about uh, the voice, it's, uh, you know, your full body. So making sure that you're fully engaged when you sing. You know, I frequently stalk you and, and watch <laughs> your videos and things. And, and I know it just seems so effortless for you when you're up there on stage. You seem so comfortable and it just it's just like you open your mouth and then it's just there. Um, I guess that takes a lot of practice, huh? Yes, I've been training for a number of years, ever since I was about 10 or so. Uh, so, you know, it looks effort, but uh, effortless, but, you know, I have been training for many, many years. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, just, you know, keep practicing and uh, it will become, you know, the more that you know what you're doing, it'll just become second nature. So are you like all calm and cool on stage when you're singing, and as soon as you get backstage, you're like <gasps> and all sweaty? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> uh, I love catching up with you. I feel like she, I feel like she's coming over for dinner tonight. You know, we're just gonna hang. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm definitely coming for that mac and cheese. That's for sure. Yes, it's so good. You'll be like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I made the trip just for that. Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but go to the go to the, when you get a chance, Alessandra, go to the ChrisTopProgram.com and uh, look at some of the pictures from the CMA Fest that we did back in June, and it'll kind of oh, give you an idea of what we do and the interviews and stuff like that. And it's really a cool setup that they give us. Um, I think you'd have a, a a really good time. It maybe. Well, I think you'd have just as good a time there as you would in Wales, just different. <laughs> oh, yeah. of course. I love to travel and, like I said, meeting new people. I think it yeah, yeah. would be a great opportunity. And you might have to get some cowboy boots. You might have to. Oh, and for maybe, sure. Maybe a cowboy hat. Maybe. You never know. <laughs> we'll She'll have get to a, tell me where to go. A red cowboy hat and wear it with her poofy dress. And... <laughs> Um, I don't know. Chris. I don't know. Boots. I don't know. Uh, we're gonna run out of time. We got like six minutes left, so I want to play "Now I Found You at Last," which I'm. Very, I love that song. I'm very proud of myself for being able to pronounce one of them. 
Yes. It reminds it's me of like my favorite off the album. <laughs> magicalness. It's like it reminds me of like Disney kind of. I don't feel like a real uh, like you know radio announcer when I can't pronounce names, but I'm okay with it. You know, I'm okay with it. I really am. It's because the music is so good. Yeah. Yeah, I get. Uh, so, so this song. Why were you inspired to sing this one? This was uh, given to me by uh, Chris Broom, and mm-hmm. um, it just, you know, I think that he just writes such beautiful melodies. So, if nothing else, just you know, the way the words flow together uh, and the accompaniment of the orchestra uh, with the beautiful, you know, duet, um, it just really spoke to me. So, yeah, definitely uh, one of my favorites off the album. I'm about to jump out of my seat. I can't wait for your new stuff to come out. Me too. You, you've totally got to get on this, okay? I will, and you'll be the first one to know. Sweet. Yes. I'm in the loop. Boom. I feel so special. Uh, okay, now I found you at last. Alessandra Pawanessa right here on the Chris Top Program. So many artists we interview on the show, and and so many uh, that I listen to are just just extremely, incredibly talented. Uh, But every once in a while, I'll come across some music and an artist where I feel like it's a a gift that's been given to me, that I, uh, number one, know them and the type of person they are and the heart that they have, and and two, where the talent just seems like a gift. And um, thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Um, just for sharing your music with us and w- with everybody, but I mean, it, it takes me to a whole new world. It really does. A it dazzling really does. place well, I never knew. And you know, letting me share it all with you. Uh, um, and you wouldn't know by the name, but Radio Bastards, <laughs> he said some pretty good stuff. Um, one of the things he says, and and this sort of sums up what I just said earlier. Um. He says that it's it's oh shoot he's he's been talking more because he loves you to death. Um, 
He says, sure Perlman not. is from Israel, but that's not what I wanted to tell you. Um, oh, what was it? Something else that he said. He, he said, he says, good job. It's, it's like God breathed upon you today or something, uh, meaning, you know, that, that you're on the show. Um, <laughs> he says, when it's simple, that is the most complicated training imagined. Um, and then he asked a question that I don't understand, but I'm hoping you'll understand it today. Um, he says, so clean her voice. I wonder, uh, can she move her voice about in her face? She will understand. That's the coolest thing about a trained voice. What does that even mean? Um, if he's wondering about the flexibility, yes, I have different sounds and different colors. Um, so depending on the emotion that I want to use, um, the style and everything else, uh, you know, I can shade my voice in different ways uh, and place it in different uh, in different spots uh, so that, you know, I'm sharing the emotion I want to come forward uh, with, you know, um, my audience. So I hope that answers his question. Mm. And how, how much training do you put in like in a, in a week um, as, as far as I mean are you are you kind of done with the training or is that a, a constant thing no it's an ongoing thing I'm always training um, vocal hygiene is so important um, you know as an opera singer you know making sure that you are staying um, you know in a good um, you know that you're not hurting yourself uh, and especially using a microphone in the classical crossover stuff you know you can get a bit lazy in some ways so I do like to have uh, vocal coaching just to make sure that my voice is staying healthy yeah it's so um, and he said that was a good answer so I guess you answered his question so that's, that's good <laughs> wonderful uh, and that's the difference I guess because we we have a lot of talented people on here but a lot of them never have the training that you have so that's sort of like the next level and I guess that's why it sort of leaves that you just took my breath away feeling, um, I guess, in my chest. It's, it's That's like, the difference it makes. I just like the stories that it puts in my head, too. Yeah. It's, like, it's so beautiful. It's a nice escape. It really is. But I, I want to thank uh, Radio Bastard for listening. Also, uh, Ruza and uh, her questions. Ruza also said, I'm not understanding anything, but the sound of the voice is just amazing. Loved it. Um, thank you. And uh, I want to thank uh, Tegan for listening in and just uh, everybody that's uh, just too afraid to chat. It's fine. I see you're there. I know. I know you're listening. Scaredy cats. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, but if any anybody does have any questions, you can also contact me through my website. Um, there's a contact button, so you can shoot me an email if you want to know anything further. Uh, you can follow me there. All of my shows, um, you know, I'll be posting uh, pictures and stuff like that. So it's www.alessandrapalanessa.com. Yeah, and they can find links to your to your Twitter and all your other sites there as well, right? Yep, and I'll answer any questions they might have. And uh, if people want to uh, to buy your music, how do they do that? Also online, um, yep, my album. I have some posters and uh, cards and stuff like that if they're interested. Do you have some posters where you're in the red dress? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, they, they're not shown there, but if you just type in, um, yeah, you want a poster and then just in brackets say red dress, I can uh, make you one custom. You know what we need to do? We need to get a poster like that to put in our studio. Yes, we do. And it needs to be autographed, though. So, oh, it will be. So we'll contact Everything you. Everything comes autographed. Yeah, once we get into the studio, we, we want that poster on the wall. Mm -hmm. For sure. Uh, but we'll get in contact with you about that. Because we're going to be moving, I guess, in a couple of weeks. So we want mm -hmm. to we got to get the studio set up. We've got a guitar that uh, Tegan actually sent us, and she autographed it. And we gotta, we're going to mount that to the wall as well. Um, so it's gonna, we're going to have some cool stuff in there. Heck yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but anyway, thank you so much, Alessandra. It's always a pleasure to have you on the show, and we can't wait to have mac and cheese with you. That's right. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for having me. <laughs> oh, you're very welcome. Uh, so until we broadcast again, I want you to remember this. Life is good. And we're gone. <laughs> and I just told her. Maybe it Things might be looking grim I guess it's time